Okay, we saw earlier that we modified the amplitude of the carrier by the message. Now I'm going to so show you how we're going to modify the frequency of the carrier with another message. So shown here is a block diagram. The device we use to change the frequency is called a voltage controlled oscillator. Our pulse generator generates two values, one in this case 0 volts and another at 2. So here we have this representing our message and this is represents our frequency modulated signal or in other words this is our transmitted FM signal. At the receiver we have what we call a slope detector. We'll talk about that in later courses but right now all you have to know is that it converts this FM signal into a combination of FM and AM. The reason why we do that is because an AM receiver is already known to be built so we can leverage that known knowledge to get back and extract the message from this FM modulated signal. And we have a little bit of amplifier of a gain of 5 shown here and we have the scope display. So here the first trace is our message which is our pulse. Our second trace is coming out of this voltage controlled oscillator and the third trace is our demodulated de FM signal. In fact the word modem comes from the word modulate and demodulate. So the word modem consists of those two words. So here is our first trace. Here's a pulse from 0 to 2 volts. So Here's 2 volts, so we have a higher frequency. Here's 0 volts, so we have a lower frequency or just our carrier frequency. What we did is that we converted this FM signal into a combination of AM and FM. And then we can use our techniques of AM demodulation to separate the carrier from our message. So this is an example of an FM modulated signal and this is an example of how we demodulate an FM signal. Hopefully this illustrates the concept how we can we use mathematics to model how we transmit a signal and how we receive a signal and how we extract a message from a carrier signal.